how to add or embed a React web app project or end design pro project into a WordPress site. So we are going to use a WordPress plugin here. So I already have a WordPress development environment here. So I am going to run it now. This is using Docker Compose. Let's see how the website looks like. So this is just a simple WordPress website. And I also have created a plugin called Embed React. So let's see how I implement this plugin. So I put it inside the plugins folder, Embed React folder, and then there's a PHP here. And inside this plugin, we have the metadata and we have a class. I'm using OOP for Embed React plugin. And there is this spoiler plate to initialize a singleton instance. And then there's constructor. And this one is to call that get instance. Okay. So the important thing is here, I'm calling add shortcode. And this is an API from WordPress. You can see it in WordPress codex. And this is for adding or registering a shortcode that then the user can use. So this is the basic function, basic syntax of the API. So I'm registering a shortcode called embed react. And when this is called, it will return this, uh, this code here. So let's test it. So what we can do to use that is to make a page. Uh, I've created a page called chat. I will delete it so I can create another one. So I'm still going to call it chat. And then we can add a block, short code, and then put embed react here. And when I publish it, so I view the page. Okay. Now we have our shortcut plugin showing here. So this is just a static text, and this one is a dynamic text for uh, getting the URL of a folder inside of our plugin folder. So why is this important? Because we will put our React or InDesign Pro project files inside this folder. Okay, so we have to know where it is. Okay, so this is the basic for uh, making it, uh, making the custom code shown inside of WordPress site. So how do we prepare the React project so that we can put it here? Uh, I'm going to use an InDesign Pro project here, and there is a configuration that I uh, have to create. So I create a config.wordpress.ts file here. So this is going to be a different UMI environment. And in paste, uh, I put the path or URL of the page. Okay, so this is this one, this page of the slab. This should be the same as the slab. And then for public path, this will be the uh, path of the uh, React files. So this will be inside the plugins and then inside the embed rack and then inside the dist folder. Okay. So now we can build this uh, InDesign Pro app, but we need to uh, make sure that, okay, I'm using this one, right? But we need to make sure that we are using the WordPress environment. So when we build this, we put it like this. Let me env equals WordPress and then call yarn build. If you are using Windows, you can also set first, set umi env equal WordPress and then after that you run yarn build. Okay. So we are waiting for the building and after the building is complete, it will create a folder called this and then we can Okay, it's done. So there is this, this folder. So we can copy or move this folder into our plugin in WordPress. So we have a this folder here. 
and then uh, we need to uh, load this react app in our plugin so we are going to replace this uh, content here so I have prepared Okay, this is a code for embedding from Abaglovia and okay so this is the code I'm going to copy paste from here and then put it here All right and because this one is dynamic I have to make sure that it is still the same yeah still the same here and also the name of the CSS file is here. Okay, yeah, I think it's the same. Okay, I can save it. And make sure also the router base here is uh, as expected, yeah. So let's try a bit loaded. Okay, and this is our end design pro can see the functionality is there although yeah the API is not working because there is no API server running and some of the CSS is not working and so on but that is just the uh, yeah the CSS or the styling that can be fixed uh, depending on uh, the project itself but at least yeah it, it's working and if I open inspect can see that uh, pretty much there's no major errors so it's basically the, the API is not working okay but as you can see even the, uh, the error here is is still working in InDesign so this is this is pretty nice right so I hope that's useful on how to put or embed an InDesign Pro or React web project inside a WordPress page using WordPress plugin. Okay, thank you.